Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a tattoo and piercing tour. I have been meaning to do one of these videos for so long. I plan to do it tonight. I'm sorry I don't have any makeup on. I've been doing my bedroom makeover all day. It's been really exciting, um, but I thought I would sit down and film this because I've really been meaning to. So I'm just gonna move a little bit to this side because I'm gonna insert videos at the same time of all my tattoos and piercings as I talk about them. So we'll start from the order that I got them from. We'll start with piercings, then tattoos. I'll tell you a little bit about the story of why I got them, I guess, and the, my pain tolerance levels, the healing process. And yes, yeah, so here we go. So with my piercings, the first one I got when I was a little, I can just show you like this. I got this when I was like a baby. I got my first. Obviously, do not remember them. Don't remember the healing process. I feel like most people, I feel like most people get them when they're a baby. If not, I've got in my seconds. They were the next piercing that I got. I think I got those when I was about 15 or 16. They hardly hurt. I got them done with a gun and I actually got them done uneven. So I ended up having to go back. There are my seconds. I ended up having to go back and get them one on my right ear redone it off your tree because the girls at Hair House Warehouse, they effed it up bad. They did them really uneven because what they were trying to do was make it even on my head when I look like look at someone. But it made them be really uneven actually on my ears. So when I wanted to stack jewelry, it looked really bad. But that healing process was pretty fast. It only took like maybe a month or two before I ended up swapping the jewelry out. And now I basically swap the jewelry like pretty often. But I try and keep like real gold or gold plated stuff or silver plate or silver stuff in there if I'm going to leave for a while. Just because otherwise I feel like it can, it can like kind of be yuck. I don't know. So after I got my seconds, the next piercing I got was my nose. I got that when I was 16 at the start of 2017. Honestly, a lot of people have trouble with their nose i feel like with me because you can get this thing i think it's called like a keloid or something it's like a little bump you can get it on the outside or inside of your nose piercing i had mine on the inside so i did have it there for a while but i never really noticed much about like the trouble with healing because it was just inside my nose so when i first got my nose ring it fell out so many times i fell out in the ocean at one point and it literally like closed up and i had to re-pierce it i somehow caught it while inside all these waves and i re-pierced it several times i feel like that happens with everyone like everyone i know they've had their nose ring has fallen out and it heals up in an instant it's so annoying and i remember like uh, two or three months after getting it it was before the mac to marco concert i went and got the gold nose ring and ever since then i've always just had a nose ring except in school i'd always be forced to put tape over my nose and stuff which was really annoying um, but yeah remember when i had a pink nose ring for a hot minute do you guys remember that i've been around you know had my main one right now is this gold one which i got for christmas two years ago from my boyfriend's family it's from an indian jewelry store in brunswick it's like kind of traditional jewelry and my boyfriend's family is fiji indian so it was a gift from them so whenever someone asks me like where it's from like I tell them but it's like I don't advocate to go and get like Indian jewelry or whatever because I don't want people to think that like do you know what I mean like that I'm saying like oh go and buy these traditional things and walk around as a white girl wearing them like I got it as a gift and yeah I love it I think it's really beautiful um but yeah the healing was really fast for me I think because it was in summer like for me I don't know I feel like the beach heals everything because then my next piercing we're gonna get into which is my belly ring oh this is my belly ring. My belly ring healed so fast people always ask me oh by the way the nose ring yeah it hurt I have a video of me getting it I'll insert it Yeah, that definitely hurt. Maybe like a 7 out of 10. And then the healing process, every time you bumped it, it would fucking hurt. But like, that's just what's going to happen with your nose. The next one I got was my belly ring. I got it when I was 17. I got it in the summer for going in from year 11 to year 12. And people ask if that hurt. No, nah, I'll give it like a 3 or 4 out of 10. Literally, the moment it went through my skin, I loved how it looked that I didn't even feel the pain. I was just way too excited to be getting it done. And yeah, like I'm obsessed with it. It's probably my favorite piercing. It's made me really love my stomach a lot more because I have like a, I don't know, I don't really like my belly button. It's very circular and I feel like it makes my stomach not look that nice. So I feel like the belly ring definitely helped. It's kept me confident. I have so much different belly ring jewelry. If there's one piercing I recommend you to get, if you're questioning it, is belly ring. I think it's the cutest thing ever. And who cares if everyone has one? I feel like it's a girl's uniform. Like I feel like people are so quick to say like, oh, everyone's got this, but it's like, who cares if everyone has it? Like we can all have matching things. Like if you've got a butterfly tattoo, who cares? Every girl should have one. It's a girl's uniform to have a butterfly tattoo. It's cute. Don't listen to the haters. Anyways, the next one after that, that I got was my Helix, which I've gotten pierced twice because I'm um, the first time it like it would not heal I had one of those like straight bars they always tell you when you get a piece you need a straight bar you can't get a ring don't listen okay because well don't listen honestly like I know you should listen to piercers and all that but sometimes it's really trial and error and it depends on the person like my boyfriend's gotten his nose ring pierced three times and it never heals so he just has decided to stop having one but with me mine healed so it's just like it's all dependent on the person but for me when I got my helix done it really hurt yes I would say like also seven out of ten the first time the second time maybe eight out of ten I got it done I remember it was during the period in I think it was 2020 when it was like in between lockdowns and I remember going to high point and getting it done and I had one of the stick straight through ones and it never healed because 
because every time I brushed my hair, my hair would fucking get caught in it and pull at it. So I was so over having it for like six months without the healing. I took it out and I ended up getting it re-pierced at the start of last year on Valentine's Day. Um, Off Your Tree had this Valentine's Day thing where it was like couples could come in and get a piercing together, but you couldn't even go in the same room. We had to go in two different piercing rooms. What's the point of having a couple deal if you can't even go together with your partner? That's the stupidest thing I've ever experienced. Don't have a couples thing if you can't be in the room with your freaking partner when they get their piercing done. Stupid. But the girl, um, she gave me a ring and honestly, like every now and again it flares up, but I just spray a little bit of aftercare piercing spray on it every now and again and it's fine. Like I've heard that helixes never heal or they take like 10 years. So whatever, I'm happy with the hoop. It's always a little bit red, but I've been meaning to put a gold hoop, but I got a titanium one, which I'm happy I did because I feel like that's also another reason why it's healing. And the next piercing I got was my septum, which I'm not taking it out because it's probably got snow on it. I'll insert a photo of me with my septum. Um, this one was probably my most painful. I'll say like a nine out of 10 and the healing process wasn't too bad. I literally flipped it up inside my nose and forgot about it for a few days. And when I flipped it out, it was better. I feel like a helix, like a, sorry, septums can heal really fast. Like if you just don't touch them. So I had the titanium first, then I had a silver, then I've changed it to a glitter one before. And now I have it as the gold one, but it stays inside my nose. I really don't feel like it suits my nose shape. I feel like septums really suit people with flat, like up noses, like not up, but like, see how my nose comes down. And obviously I'm not, if you've got this, like I'm not saying you can't get one, but I just feel like noses that go like this, they don't really suit having an extra thing because it kind of elongates. But like if you have like a shorter nose like this, septums can look really cute. But um, yeah, just not for me. Also, I have my thirds, which I did both of them on TikTok. Um, then this one actually got like infected on the inside. So I, when I tried to change the jewelry, it, like I couldn't do it because it was so much painful. But uh, honestly, they were like a three or four out of 10 with the pain. Um, but I still have this one on the right. And yeah, I want to eventually get my left redone again, but I don't know if I will, but yeah. The healing process again, very fast. I just sprayed it all the time. And it was like, I feel like these ones just heal so quickly. Yeah, if there was any piercing, I could get my dream piercing is an eyebrow piercing. I'm obsessed with eyebrow piercings. I also love the Monroe. It wouldn't suit my face, but I love eyebrow piercings and Monroe piercings. I think they're gorgeous. I feel like there's a certain look that goes along with piercings like that and I just don't think that my vibe really suits it. Um, but I would really love an eyebrow piercing one day. Only if I, if I knew that it would heal completely gone, but I just don't think that it will. Anyways, getting into my tattoos now. So my first ever tattoo, I'm going to insert photos of all my tattoos just so I don't have to like be standing up and doing the most. My first ever tattoo was the angel wings that I got on my left rib. I got it done at um, Celebrity Inc. at High Point. It was a random decision. Um, Honestly, the pain wasn't too bad. Maybe like a 5 out of 10. Some spots are a bit more spicy than the other, but yeah, I love this tattoo. Since then, I have gotten it updated with a bit of glitter around it just because I feel like it was very randomly placed like on my body. Um, and I feel like tattoos are something that you can add to over time. Like I just think it was cute that I put the glitter, so I'll insert that. I went to Tony Tattoos to get that done. Anyways, but after that tattoo, the next one I got was the writing down the right side of my body, and it is a Bible scripture in Greek. Yeah, I've, I've had a few different ideas. I definitely knew I wanted something in Greek. I definitely want to get something in Croatian one day as well um, just to kind of like represent my ethnicity as well a little bit but I definitely love the scripture and I like having it in Greek because I don't really speak or understand Greek so it's like I don't get sick of seeing the same words every day because I don't even know what it means like I feel like that's something you can do if you're thinking of getting some kind of words on you but yeah I think that's a really good idea I think you should honestly I think you should get words that are of um, a country and stuff that's relative to you um, I know some people get other languages that aren't theirs on their body which I'm not I'm not here to say do or don't do that but I think it's a bit better when the language has to do with your background um, because then it kind of just like you know it's a little bit more it means a bit more as well you know what I mean and like I don't know and in case like it says something wrong like you can just ask your dad like hey is this isn't right I don't know anyways the next one I got after that was the one on my hip which is one of my favorites I think it's this um, piece that I got designed for me and it is a mixture of flowers jewels leaves I wanted something on the hip I wanted something a little bit 2000s a little bit beachy vibes I love this one. Oh yeah by the way the one down my side literally four out of ten hardly hurt the one on my hip however eight out of ten very painful I couldn't even believe the pain I was in when it was happening. I actually bawled my eyes out after I got it because I thought I hated it because the shading looked so dark once the tape went over. But then as time's gone over, the shading got lighter and I, I love how it looks. It's one of my favorite. The next tattoo I got after that was the cross, was the sparkles added to my butterfly and also I have a cross on my ankle. Um, I just love the cross. Obviously, it also represents like Christianity, but I also like, like the shape of the cross as well as a tattoo and I always wanted something on my ankle. Speaking of, the next one I went after that, I went to Tokoi and I got my back piece which is like a butterfly with like swirls coming out of it it is very like tribal tramp stamp vibes but not a complete tramp stamp because my dad would have killed me but it's on the side and i love how it fits in with my tattoo as well like i'll show you how they oh crap this is how they blend together so it goes from here and it blends into this one and i love how there's just like around my hip 
The only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is like when these two are together, I feel like there's way too many stars. So the only thing I've been considering lately is getting these two stars here removed possibly in the future because I feel like there's a bit too many stars, but I don't know, like sometimes I love it, sometimes I'm like, it's very starry, but I am obsessed with stars and stuff like that, which brings me on to my next tattoo, which I also got at Takoi, which is on my right ankle. I'm gonna insert the photo, which is this tribal kind of star vibe. I absolutely am obsessed with this. This is one of her flash sheets. She has all these really cute, like little mini tramp stamp things, and I got it on my ankle because I just thought it was so hot, and it's like one of my favorite because it's just so Y2K, and it makes me so inspired to get more tattoos. Y2K, but oh, I will say the one on my back 10 out of 10 disgustingly painful really really hurt I literally saw stars. I thought I was gonna faint the one on my ankle uh, both my ankles Probably like a 7 or 8 out of 10 that were really really painful I really don't like stuff on the ankle, but I'm obsessed so would I get more tattoos? Yes, my dad really doesn't want me to, but I definitely want to. I am trying to be careful with the tattoos I get that I don't get anything that is very like in the now. Like I would love to get a tattoo of Hello Kitty, but it's like, I don't know if in 10 years time, I'm still going to want that on my body. So I try and get stuff that's a little bit timeless. Like yes, the butterfly on my back is very much my vibe now, but I've always liked the things I've liked. Like me as a person, I've always been kind of the same person growing up. Like, yes, I changed the things I like, but I've always been into the same kind of stuff. I've always been into girly stuff. I've always been into fashion. I've always been into like, you know, a little bit of more indie or alternative, semi-alternative, not proper alternative dressing. Like since I was like 16, I've been always like, and could buy clothes. I've always been dressing a little bit different. Obviously now I feel like people think like, they only think something's alternative if it's like super out there and stuff but that's just because I feel like social media has oversaturated what it means to dress different to the norm like the norm would just be like you know very basic like blue jeans and a white top but now it's like the norm is so many different things so I don't want to like say like I was alternative but I've always kind of dressed different to being like completely basic nothing wrong with being basic but I've always been a little bit different to that which I feel like can be reflected in my tattoos I can do stuff that's a little bit different and I feel like in the future future Annalise will still appreciate it because I did it in that phase I feel like people try and scare you and say like oh tattoos are on you for life and a lot of people say like a lot of people say like oh you know you're gonna want to remove that you're gonna regret it but it's like and what if i do like and if annalise in 20 years is like i fucking hate this butterfly well so what annalise at 22 was a hot bitch walking around with a butterfly on her back like don't be mad at me babe and also i just think it's iconic like i want to be one of those moms that has tattoos and the kids like oh my mom has a tattoo of this like i just feel like that's also a cool vibe not that i would get it for that but i would be comfortable with being like a grown woman with tattoos like a, like an adult mom with tattoos because it just tells a story about your past and the past person that you were and who you still are. I think tattoos are beautiful. I don't think you should ever regret them unless it's something stupid like, you know, a partner that you broke up with or like something ugly. Like, I'm not really into ugly tattoos. Like, when people get ugly, goofy shit like a cartoon donut or something, to me, I'm like, eh, would never do something like that. I feel like tattoos are the best when it's a little bit artistic. It has some meaning. It's a more of a timeless piece. But it still goes with who you are in that day because it is... A historic thing on your body like in 30 years time, I'm gonna look back and see the butterfly tribal thing I have and I'm gonna be like I remember that era of my life where like for five years I was so into like that 2000s trashy look and I had my whole TikTok my Instagram thing going on and it's gonna be a good memory unless it's something happens and then it's not Anyways, so yeah, those are all of my tattoos. Those are my pain tolerances. Those are the reason I got everything. I just got most of the things I've gotten is just for the vibes. Um, the Bible quote, I always wanted to get something, but I, then again, I always wanted to get a Bible quote and I went and found one that I like. So honestly, it was more just for the vibe of having writing my body. Like I would always be transparent about that. I'm not going to try and act like everything has like a greater meaning. Sorry that my chair keeps cracking. Anyways, but yeah, we'll definitely get more. I have a few ideas of things I want. I definitely want to get stuff on my arms eventually, like not sleeves, but like something kind of small but I think I'm gonna wait till after my wedding because I want to be like pure on my wedding with like no tattoos on my body I want something on my back whatever I said to my boyfriend like after we get married we can like go crazy and get whatever we want but before my wedding everything's gonna remain on the torso I would love to get stuff on my like thighs as well but I also want to just make sure that I'm not getting things to compensate for something else because like I'm the type of person where like I will do so much clothes shopping when I'm feeling my most insecure because I'm like compensating for something else so I don't want to like be going out of my way to get tattoos on parts of my body like one of the reasons I got I like I wanted to get that tattoo on my back is because I really don't like my back profile and I feel like the tattoo helps. I also really didn't like my ribs either and like how wide my back was. So I feel like the tattoo helped. Same with the belly ring. Helped me to like like that area of my body a bit more. But I want to be careful that I'm not just doing stuff only to compensate things. And I feel like that's something you should look into as well. Like are you getting hundreds of tattoos just because you're trying to compensate for something else or because you actually like it? 
Not saying that you can't do that, but also sometimes it's good to like reflect. And like every time I like find myself looking to get more tattoos, I'm like, wait, let me just work on myself, get all the areas of my life how I want it to be, and then I can go spend money on tattoos. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I literally just talked and talked and talked the whole time. Um, love yous all. Have the best week and follow my Instagram if you don't already have me on TikTok, which I'm sure you do. That's why you're here. I always just assume. Follow me on all of my things. My link tree will be in the bio. Lots of love. Bye.